halfway to Mexico, halfway to Tokyo, on this open road. This story starts in November. I was having the best day ever. I finally got paid after waiting till the end of November. Um, and mind you, I got, again got paid very early compared to a lot of people in this region. So I was very excited because it was kind of starting to get stressful, especially having to deal with bank account issues, which I can do so a whole other story time on that. But anyway, I get home, I'm excited, nothing can ruin my day. My friend Achilles over at my house and we're hanging out in the living room. I tell her that I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So I go to my bathroom, I'm using the bathroom and I hear the bathroom above me flush in the apartment above me. I look down and I see bubbles coming from the bottom of the toilet, like big bathtub bubbles. I'm just like, that's weird. I've never seen this happen before. I wonder what it is, but it wasn't that much. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna clean it up and, you know, text our real estate lady or our realtor. Anyway, I go to the living room after and I'm like telling Akili what happened. And then I just was feeling weird. I was like, this is just weird. Let me just go back and look. I go back and I am looking in my bathroom and I see this trail of water that comes, that's coming from my roommate's bathroom into my bathroom. And so our bathrooms have a shared wall and I'm sure at this point we share the same water system or the same pipes or whatever. So I walk over to her bathroom her entire bathroom is flooded and is now seeping into my bathroom. So I knock on her bedroom door and she would just gotten home, was just laying down from work, a long day of work. And I'm like, hey, um, we have a situation. And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you honestly have to get up and see this. She's like, okay. So she gets up and we look in her bathroom. Her entire bathroom is flooded. So at this point, I'm taking a video of the bathroom and I send it to our real estate lady and my roommate is going to the kitchen and like grabbing the mop and like, okay, we gotta clean this up because the bathroom's here. My bedroom is across from her bathroom. So if it starts leaking this way, it's headed straight to my bedroom. And it was leaking to the left, like over and out. So we were hoping it wouldn't get to my bathroom. We've been struggling the past two weeks. Our bank accounts have been blocked. What else happened? I forgot. The bank account thing was a, a huge thing. Our bills went through our accounts because they were blocked and we didn't have any money. And now our hallway is flooded and keeps flooding and we think the whole building is flooding um, and it's really bad. And now the lights are out in the hallway and I'm scared they're going to turn our lights off in all of our apartments to fix this, which would be very frightening. This is after mopping it a second time. Something happened and the whole bathroom is flooded again. And the people upstairs, you can't really... Yeah. It's... And the hall, it's inching towards Millie's room. We're trying to keep it from going inside of mine. Anyway, we text our realtor and she's like, um, I can't help you. The plumber isn't going to be able to come until tomorrow. Mind you, this is like 6 p.m. It's right after siesta. Like People go back to work after siesta, so some plumber in this town has to be available. But she was like, I can't come, I can't help you, and the plumber can't come. And we're like, did you ask the plumber? Like, do you see this? And she's like, okay, well, flush the toilet. Flush the toilet in your bathroom, Claudia, and see what happens. So we just cleaned the bathroom in Millie's bathroom, and we are told to flush my toilet. So I go, I flush the toilet, as she says, and guess what happens? Her bathroom completely flooded again. And it was like, bam, super fast, whole bathroom flooded after she just spent maybe 15 minutes mopping up that. And I felt so terrible because 
obviously, we didn't know at this point that the bathroom, our bathroom walls were connected and we didn't know that the pipes, my bathroom messing up would mess up her bathroom and vice versa. So we, so that now I'm cleaning up her bathroom, mopping it because um, I just flooded her bathroom on accident because our real estate agent told us to. So we're like, okay, this is unacceptable. It's not stopping. Also, now we're hearing the other bathroom again upstairs. We hear them flush, more water rushes down her wall and through her bathroom. So we're like, this is not a us problem. What do we do? She's not gonna come. We don't know the name of the plumber. We don't know the name of the building owner. So what are we gonna do right now? Then, a blessing to us, not necessarily a blessing to this person, but this man runs upstairs um, and he's like, just frantic in Spanish. But I don't know what he said, but he said enough to let me know he's dealing with this water too. So I'm like, come in, come in. And I just point to my bathroom and I point to her bathroom and I point to my bathroom and he's like, oh, and he's at like, do you know the number of the person who works here or the building owner? I'm like, no, do you know this? No. So I remember seeing some numbers. So I go and guide him to the place where I saw these numbers and he gets on the phone and calls these people. Luckily, again, luckily he showed up because at this point, if he had not, we would have been dealing with this rapid water flow by ourselves all night um, or looking for a plumber who was going to come to our house but then that would be on us when at this point we're realizing it's not our fault because every time we hear another place flush our bathroom's flooding so the people um, or the guy calls these people and maybe 30 40 minutes later after we're seriously mopping for like an hour, throwing every paper towel on the ground, trying to clean up every towel we own except one each because we need one to shower, um, we're trying to fix it. So then the people come in and they're like splashing or not, you know what that sound when you're stepping on something wet and it's just like gross. It's so much water. They're stepping on our floor and you can hear it and so nasty and this water isn't clean water it's not the dirtiest water but it does not smell nice so now our apartment is um disgusting smelling also my friend is still in the living room so now if she wants to leave she has to somehow climb over all of these things but her shoes are at the front of the apartment so we're like, how are we going to get her out of here? How are we going to clean this up? What are we going to do? A guest, a guest has, is trying to leave so that I can use the bathroom. Yes, I got it. Listen. Pee. Girl. Right. Oh, let me move. Oh, I wish y'all the best of luck. I can't squish you. We'll see you later. Bye, friend. Good luck with your presentation. Still send it to me. All right, I'll try. Stay wet. Looks <laughs> like, oh my God, they make you work till eight. Mm, yeah, no, leave that place. Now I'm like, y'all need to be working till 10 p.m. Cause we're around the clock, 24 hours. This is an emergency. So the people come and they see the problem and they call a plumber. He comes, tears up our wall, like takes, wipes out in her bathroom knocks out the wall around the pipes and goes in there does something that makes it stop leaking because i mean the water was flowing down and we're like okay so is that gonna fix it at this point we're just laughing because we're like we're in this situation we don't know the language that well we don't know how to ask are we gonna have to pay for this we're just like in the house laughing we're just like can is this really happening we just have had our bank accounts finally unblocked after weeks of going to the bank we just got all of our information together we're just trying to relax 
at this point like we just have not relaxed since we've been here so then our friend leaves the plumber comes he fixes it so it's trying to get in my room oh yay tools this is electricity. Oh, yeah. You think I'm to put it in? This is our electricity. I don't want to do. Okay. 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 Now her toilet's still making this bubbly noise. So they're like, we'll be back tomorrow, but it shouldn't flood or anything. Um, so we're like, okay, cool, thank you. Because otherwise, I would have had to put towels, stack them up and hope that this nasty water wasn't coming into my room. And honestly, the way that it was going, it could have flooded her room too. So they said they're gonna come and fix the toilet the next day. Tell me why in December, <laughs> right before we left for Christmas, they finally came and fixed the wall. Um, and even to this day, because they keep telling us that they're coming back, um, they still are still working on our problems. So now they think, oh, backtrack. So after finally, on the day that this happened, after finally getting everything situated and we're finally like, woo, we can relax. She goes and takes a shower. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, we didn't have hot water for the longest. We finally have hot water. So we're like, thank God, let's just take a shower. We're disgusting with all like being in this water, trying to clean it up. She takes a shower, everything's fine. I get in the shower, I'm like, oh, this is the greatest shower I've ever had. The shower head explodes and breaks. <sighs> that was probably one of the most, most annoying things because we're like, okay, so what are we gonna do with a broken shower head? So for two or three days after that, we are waiting for someone to come and fix our ripped and busted shower head. And we're waiting for them to fix the wall and all of these things. Um, again, now fast forward, it is February and they're still working on our pipes because I guess people downstairs are still getting water leakage. But we have been here and available. So at this point, they are still working on the problem. And that kind of just goes to show how the Spanish work on their own time anyway, because they say, oh, I'm gonna come between, well, not four and six, that's unrealistic, but like, we'll just say eight to 12. I can come to eight to 12. Well, we have to work, so we can't do that. Okay, well, I'll come the next day from six to eight. Okay, we're waiting, we'll be here. They're not coming, and they just don't come, and they don't say anything sometimes. So that's a major cultural difference, but I will keep you updated on the rest of the process with our bathrooms and this water leakage issue, but it is just completely different and that was something that looking back, it's kind of funny just knowing that we went through that crazy situation of our whole apartment flooding. I never in my life have experienced anything like that and I truly hope not to experience anything like that again. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more story times, let me know and leave a comment. Alright, see ya. Halfway to Mexico, halfway to Tokyo.